Take a look at these child containers that I'm using to show you different pricing packages. And I'm using the icon list over here to show you the features per package. Now, nothing happens. But over here, when I hover over where we have some eyes, we get some tool tips. This was all done with a little bit of CSS magic for your icon list. And it's so easy and simple to do. I'm going to go over to this particular icon list. And I intentionally only did it for this one and not this one. So I could show you the comparison. Over here, we have an icon list. And inside of here, if I show you an example, I've got monthly bookkeeping, which is what you will see as the title. And then I've got and NBSP, and that's to add in a space. So I've got two spaces and then and hashtag X24D8. I've expanded on the screen just so you can see it a bit more clearly. But don't worry, all of this is in the video description. So if you want to go over and get another icon, you can do just go and stick the code in. What that does is add in the eye and you'll see for expense sorting, I have not done that. So I only do it where I want. Now, when I was building this, I decided I was going to show a tool tip on items one, two and four. And then inside of my custom CSS for this particular icon list, you can see I've got one, two and four. You just need to repeat and have as many of these as you need. So if you were going to have it for all seven or eight, you would have this seven or eight times inside of there. And I've done it uniquely and independently per icon list because it's easier to manage. Again, down here, I've repeated the one, two, four just to make sure it appears when you hover. But the important bit is here. So for item one, this is the tool tip for item two. That's the tool tip for item four. Here's the tool tip I want you to show. And if you want to modify the colors that appear, so I've got that particular color with white text and border rounded, etc. And I've even positioned it to be in a certain position when you hover. You can control all of that here. This entire code is here for you. So if you've been using icon list, now I know you have got pricing widgets that you could use, but I find that this is so much better. Go into a child container, add in your heading, your title, your text editors, Whatever you want, have full on control. And using the icon list is a really great way to showcase features. But being able to now also have a tool tip to explain what you mean by HMRC handling. This makes it a little bit more crystal clear. I'm in Rand from Web Squadron. The code is in the video description. Go and join our YouTube channel for exclusive videos. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.